So instead of doing my homework last night like a responsible person, I decided just I'll push it till tomorrow morning. And now it's taking me a lot longer. Doing a whole ton of prop stat homework. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> Yo, what up? I was supposed to wake up early today to finish my homework. Huh, what am I gonna do with myself? I have most of it done and I'll finish the rest of it on the train ride. So now let me tell you about what I'm doing today. I'm going to Nancy, France. That's right, N as in Nancy. That's what my parents used to say when they had to spell out something over the phone with N in it. Now I bet you're wondering, William, what do you mean? You're traveling on a Thursday? What about classes? Well. What if I told you that I do not have any classes on Thursday? It feels weird only having like three days of actual school though. Unfortunately for all the rest of my friends, they don't have a schedule that gets them off on Thursdays. So I'm probably just gonna be doing multiple different day trips. I swear I'm gonna hit like all of Europe if I can. So Nancy France is also in the Lorraine region. It is the 20th largest urban region of France. So congratulations. Top 20, yeah. It's quite similar to Mez in the fact that it was a border city, so it got flipped back and forth. It was the capital of the Duchy of Lorraine when Lorraine was its own thing. One of the main reasons that it grew into what it is today is because of this guy called King Stanislaus, who was king of Poland, as well as Duchy of Lorraine. Damn, dude. Talk about an overachiever. The king came in there, started building stuff up, and turn it into kind of a cultural hub. Definitely be able to see some of the fruits of his labors. Yo, I'm at the train station now, bro. Time to get on a train and do some homework. Do you think they'll notice I'm a tourist? Future me says yes. That's my train. You'll notice that there's no train yet. I'm early for once. There she is right there. I'm scared, dude. This is my first time on a train alone. What am I gonna do? Am I gonna survive? Now that I'm here, step number one, find Wi-Fi. You know, there might be Wi-Fi here. There is. Right now I just have to submit my homework so I can get a good grade on it. Submitted. Okay, now onto the fun stuff. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is check out this Stanislaus place, see what this great king was all about. I think my issue is, is that whenever I see something new, I'm like, oh, what's that? I still haven't made it to the place yet. We're finally here. Place Stanislaus. All right, so Place Stanislaus was built in the 18th century as a way to connect the old town with the new town. Although this is like 200 years ago, so older town with the slightly newer town. Yo, that's my boy Stanislaus up there looking straight fire. Call me a narcissist, but I would love a statue of myself. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before I do anything else, there's a souvenir shop right there. Gotta fulfill my sweet tooth. So I found some candies. And these are specifically, they're called Bergamot de Nancy. They're specific to this area. They're a candy that infuses oils from the bergamot orange. I'm not a fan of orange, but you know, try new things. I feel like that's just an excuse in order to eat more sugar. Here we go. You can taste the orange. Definitely not my thing, but I can see why people would like it. Since I'm in Nancy, you can probably already guess what I'm gonna have for lunch. That's right, I got some sushi. I know it's not typical French food, but like, I'm dying. I keep on having the same thing over and over again. I just wanna mix it up. That's one thing I do miss about America. There's a variety of foods there. You literally get whatever you want. Yo, this guy right here makes the best sushi ever. Hands down, period. I'm loving it. Or they say, j'aime, uh, what, sushi in fr French? Oh, uh, j'aime sushi. Time for the mandatory post-lunch dessert. And I think I'm gonna get a macaron, which is a slightly more French thing. Just a little bit. So the place I'm about to go to has been making macarons for like 200 years. They got a secret recipe. No, this place is shut too? Why is every place I wanna go to shut? So this is the architect that I was talking about earlier, Emmanuel Hare. Who doesn't have a statue here? This is Port de la Croix, which is a big thing built in the 14th century. See, the first question I always ask myself when I see some big European castle is, can I climb it? In this case, the answer is no. I'm out here in Parc de Pepinier. Pepinier? I'd give my translation about a solid five out of 10. It's just a big, gigantic park in the middle of town. Pepinier translates to nursery. So originally all the trees that were used around Nancy, they were grown here. Yo, look, it's a goat. Hey goat, what's up? You are the goat. I might not be able to get a macaroon, but I'll take a crepe any day. Ooh, that looks so good. 
It's like my first crepe since I've come to France. Yo, I'm glad I came to Nancy. There just seems like there's so many places that I wouldn't go to if I didn't study abroad. Like, Nancy's definitely one of them. This one is just as cool as the one in Mez. So I'm taking a little bit of break and I'm eating this thing called a Tarte de Fromage Blanc, which is almost like a French cheesecake. In the 19th century, a nearby region was annexed by Prussia, so a lot of the creatives came to Nancy, and thus inspiring a, a movement of Art Nouveau. So Art Nouveau literally means new art. Is wearing your backpack on your front a normal thing in Europe? Art Nouveau takes inspiration from the natural world, including organic and geometric forms. It can be paintings, furniture, and even houses. Yo, I think my vlog is Art Nouveau style. Anyway, I'm tired, and I'm back at the train station. Cue the travel. Ah, home sweet home. Tomorrow we are going to Germany. It's gonna be hype. I'm excited. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I'm gonna call it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>